When I see you smile, I want to smile. When I see you frown, I want to frown. But when I see you smile, I want to smile. This is a mango. It's the reason nature gave you taste buds. If you've never tasted a mango, drop what you're doing, get out there, and do what you got to do to acquire one. I get calls, texts, emails, YouTube comments every day from people asking me what they need to do to grow a mango tree like this guy right here in their own backyards. And I'm about to tell you. Before you embark on your project to plant a mango tree in your backyard, you need to answer two questions. Question number one, what variety of mango do you want to plant? Some are big, some are small, some are round, some are oblong. This one's red and green. This one's green with a little bit of yellow. Some have stringy pulp that gets stuck in your teeth, some don't. Some ripen in June, some ripen in July. Some of them you could leave on the tree till late August, September. Now that you've decided what variety you want, you got to decide how you're going to get it. Are you the type of person who wants to grow your own from seed? Maybe eat a mango? Set aside the pit and grow it fresh from scratch? Or are you the type who'd rather go to a nursery and buy one that's ready to plant today? If you're inclined to go to the nursery and buy your own tree, excellent choice. All you need is a pick and your credit card. And before you dig that hole, keep one thing in mind. Mango trees grow huge. You give a mango tree the water space and sunlight it needs, it's gonna top 40 feet high and 40 feet across. Now, why would you choose to buy a pre-grown tree at a nursery versus just throwing a seed in the ground and growing your own? I bet those of you who follow my avocado videos have a guess. Mango trees do not grow true to seed, which means if you eat a piece of fruit and then plant the seed that came from that fruit, you are very unlikely to get a tree that produces similar fruit. But unlike these avocados, there's a caveat. There's an exception. There are certain varieties of mango that will grow true to type. And there are others that will not. So the main reason you wanna buy from a nursery so you know what you're gonna get, right? Question one was decide what variety mango you wanna plant. Well, if you plant a seed that does not grow true to type, guess what? You ain't getting the variety you chose. Another excellent reason to buy a tree grown at a nursery is you're gonna get your fruit a lot faster. That tree is already gonna be two, three, maybe four years old. Just like people, trees need to reach sexual maturity before they start producing fruit. And it could be six, seven, eight, nine, ten 10 years when you plant a seed before you get your tree to flower. Whereas a tree from a nursery, it's gonna flower in year three. Is there a downside to buying your fruit in a nursery? Nah, I don't see any downside at all. And since I already showed you what it takes to go to the nursery and buy your own, now let's talk about if you wanted to grow your own from seed. Join me in the shade house. Here we are in the shade house because you're the type of person who wants to eat a mango, save the seed, plant it in the ground and grow a tree. Unfortunately, it's not that easy. Mango growers don't just take a seed and plant it in the ground. We have to follow a process. And the process you'll follow depends on your answer to question number one. What type of mango do you wanna grow? Because some mangoes grow true to type and other mangoes do not. So the first thing you need to do is determine does your mango grow true to type? And in order to make that determination, you need to know something about mango seeds. You see, inside of every mango, there's a seed pod. And inside of that seed pod is a seed. Some mango varieties give you a seed that produces one seedling. That is called monoembryonic. And those types of mangoes do not grow true to type. Monoembryonic equals do not grow true to type. The other category you may have already guessed is polyembryonic or many embryos. Poly meaning men, many, right? Polyembryonic seeds, when you plant them in dirt, will actually sprout up multiple seedlings. And all but one of those seedlings is a genetic replica of the mother tree. That means that for polyembryonic variety mangoes, you can plant the seed and get a genetic replica of the mother. You will get the identical fruit 
that you ate. So you answered question one. You decided which mango variety you want to plant. Now you need to discover is your chosen variety monoembryonic or polyembryonic. This is a Glen Mango. This is a seed pod from a Glen Mango, one I ate this morning for breakfast, by the way. And if I need to know whether the Glen Mango variety is monoembryonic or polyembryonic, I gotta Google it. So I go to Google and I ask Google, is Glen Mango polyembryonic? Then I look at my answer. Turns out the Glen Mango is monoembryonic. Now, what if I happen to choose a Nam Duck Mai or NDM? I've got Nam Duck Mai trees in the grove, but they didn't give me any fruit this year. But what if I happen to taste a Nam Duck Mai and that's the fruit I want to plant? You gotta go back to Google and ask Google, is Nam Duck Mai polyembryonic? And check out the answer. Ding, ding, ding. Nam Duck Mai is polyembryonic. Now take a minute, go out to Google and ask it if your chosen variety is monoembryonic or polyembryonic. If your chosen variety is polyembryonic, maybe you like Nam Duck Mai, maybe you like Atulfo, and you ate that fruit last night, you set aside the seed pod. Crack the seed pod open, extract the seed, fill up a one gallon pot with regular potting soil, just store-bought potting soil. Just make yourself a little indentation just lay that seed in the soil. Just cover it a little bit. You can even leave it a little bit exposed. Just lay it in the soil, give it a little bit of water, and in about a week or two, you will see multiple sprouts coming out of that seed. As I said earlier, I want you to identify the fertilized sprout, the runt of the litter. You can just cut that guy and throw him away. You don't need it. The others, let them grow a little bit. Give them a couple of weeks. And then, when you can get in there and separate them, Fill yourself a few more pots with regular potting soil and separate each of those individual seedlings into their own pot and let them grow. After about eight or nine months, put them in a bigger pot. Let them grow in that pot for about a year and stick them in the ground. Make sure you leave enough space like I showed earlier. And in year four, you'll be getting fruit. And that fruit will be identical to the fruit from which you got the seed in the first place. Congratulations, you have successfully grown your first mango tree from seed. That leaves the rest of us, those of us who picked monoembryonic varieties, the Hayden, the Valencia Pride, the Glen. These are all monoembryonic. If I plant the seed from these, I have no idea what type of tree I'm gonna get. It's unpredictable. In fact, this variety, the Valencia Pride, guess where it came from? It came from a Hayden seed. Somebody ate one of these, stuck the seed in the ground. The resulting tree was a Valencia Pride. Look at the difference. You see, when these varieties come along, they're one of a kind. There's only ever been one Hayden tree grown from seed. There's only ever been one Valencia Pride tree grown from seed. There's only ever been one Glen tree grown from seed. For all of the monoembryonic varieties, there has only ever been one tree grown from seed. So where the heck are all the Valencia Pride trees coming from? Where are all the Hayden trees coming from? The answer is we use a technique called grafting. This is an avocado tree, but we're going to pretend it's a mango tree, okay? And you could see here where there is a a piece of one tree inserted into a piece of another. If this happened to be the stem from the seed of a monoembryonic variety mango, we would have planted that seed and one stem would have sprouted. It would try to grow. But I'm not gonna let that seed grow because I have no idea what it's gonna grow into and I don't wanna wait 10 years to find out. So what I do is I clip that seedling, that's it. I stop it from growing. Then I go out to the tree that gave me this delicious Hayden and I take a clipping from that tree. And I take that clipping and I insert it into my seedling. But to lend some credence to what I'm talking about, look at, this is a Hayden tree right here. That gave Hayden, that gives Hayden mangoes. As I said earlier, at some point in the 1940s or something like that, someone planted a seed from a, from a Hayden mango and it grew into a Valencia pride tree, which is what this tree is right here, right? But that's the only time a Valencia pride tree ever grew from seed. And it's the only time a Valencia pride tree will ever grow from seed. All the rest of them are grafted. 
So take a look right here. This shows the graft. You see how it's real big and wide down here and then there's this little bit of a scar, right? So this is the original part that was grown from seed. It doesn't matter what kind of seed. They probably use seed from a turpentine mango. That's what they tend to use down here, but it doesn't matter. They, 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 they plant a seed. That came up, they clipped it. They went out into the grove like I just showed you. They took a cutting from a Valencia pride tree, stuck it in just like I showed you in the shade house. And look at this thing grew into a mature tree. It's giving me delicious fruit, beautiful fruit. But you can clearly see the scar or the knot where the graft took place. So there you have it. Three ways to grow your favorite mango variety in your own backyard. Go to a nursery and buy a tree, plant yourself a polyembryonic variety, or graft yourself a monoembryonic variety. It doesn't matter which technique you choose because all three techniques, you're putting a tree in the ground. You created a little machine that connects the earth and the sun, right? We got roots under the ground of the earth and we got leaves that are open to the sun and they take that energy from the sun and convert it and use it to grow fruit. Then people eat that fruit and they convert that matter into energy themselves and they walk around with a big smile on their face, right? Because when you're done eating a mango, that's what you do, you smile. And human beings have these things called mirror neurons. When I see you smile, I wanna smile. When I see you frown, I wanna frown. But when I see you smile, I wanna smile. And then when I smile, someone else sees me and they wanna smile. And when people are smiling, it means they're happy. Now, if you wanna look extra good, while you're wearing that smile, get yourself a Sleepy Lizard t-shirt at guacfarm.com. G-U-A-C-F-A-R-M.com. That's our website. We sell our t-shirts, stickers. When we have fruit in season, we sell it out there. Sometimes I even sell grafted trees out there. It all depends on what we got. Now these three mangoes, my props, they're ready to eat. And I'm gonna go in the house and enjoy them with my wife. While I do that, you go out to guacfarm.com and I will see you on the next video. You want me to show you how we eat this in my country? Yes. So, why do you have to get into my business? You got it, you have it like that in your, uh -huh. mm, go around. Mm. That's what you guys do in your country? I'm gonna sweat out. Mm -hmm. mm. And you eat it around uh -huh. like, like a squirrel.